Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. In today's video, it is gonna be, I'm literally so afraid that there's gonna be like lipstick on my teeth one of these days and I'm gonna do this whole intro and look crazy. But anyway, in today's video, it is gonna be a home update. I'm really, really excited because we're getting some furniture in the mail. We are gonna be getting some trees in the house, not real ones. I wish I could get real ones, but my kids, like I just, they can't be trusted. My mom has real ones at her house and whenever they're over there, it's like like they've never seen plants before. So can't do that. We're gonna be getting some faux trees. We're gonna be warming up the space a little bit. I wanna do some DIY projects in this one. That'll be fun. And honestly, who knows what we're gonna get into. I wanna do a little bit of shopping. Hopefully we can do that. I feel like this is gonna be a well-rounded home update. Some DIY, some furniture, some switching and changing. So if that sounds like something you're interested in. If you want to hang out with us today, see how we update the house, then please just keep on watching. I think it's safe to say Rob is 100% over me. <laughs> if he wasn't over me before, he definitely is now. <laughs> Come on, Rob. Admit it, Rob. I keep your life interesting. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so we made it home. Oh my gosh, the swivel chair. Why is it always turned? We made it home. And you'll see, I should have done a grand reveal where I hold the camera down and then put it up. But anyway, you see we have a tree. We have a tree officially, which I'm really excited about it. So this is what the tree looks like. We got all of our trees. Oh, we only got two. We're working on some stuff over there, hence the plywood. But we got this tree from World Market and I think it looks really, really nice. Let me see if I can catch the lighting. But I think it looks really, really good. I feel like the leaves, honestly, like that looks good to me. And I really like the tree uh, stem <laughs> trunk, whatever it's called. This looks pretty real. Like honestly, it looks really real in my mind. So I'm happy with this. The planter down there is not permanent. I wanna get a different one, but for the time being, I was like, let me just put it in something. I had that, so I'm just using it here. I really like this. I was talking to my best friend, Annalisa, the other day about trees, <laughs> which sounds crazy. We were talking about trees, but we were. We were talking about just like as decorative pieces, but also like they just bring like life into the space because, you know, plants are just really, really good for you, although mine are fake. And we were talking about how fiddle leaf trees really had their peak and everybody and their mom had fiddle leaf trees in their space. It was just like this whole trend of fiddle leaf trees. And I feel like it peaked and it's on its way out and everybody now wants olive trees. And I totally get that. And I think it's called like fifth ficus, ficus trees. I'm not even sure how to pronounce it, but I still love a good fiddle leaf. I think it really looks nice in this space. I think for me personally, an olive tree, which I ordered an olive tree as well, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. But an olive tree in this space, to me would still be very, very light because the leaves are very light. And I just felt like with all of this light that I already have, I needed something a little bit darker. I needed some darker green leaves in my tree. And yeah, I just really, really like how it looks in the corner. I like how the stem, or I guess the, the trunk, the tree trunk, the base, the whatever, is just very, very thin and then all the trees are concentrated up at the top and I just I'm just really really happy with how it looks I don't know if the camera is doing it justice but I feel like it's starting to feel cozy and I'm really really excited about that and I'm just now realizing my kids knocked down the pillows it's totally fine we live here things like this happen but I feel like we're getting to the point of it feeling very cozy and inviting I'm thinking about getting some pillows for those chairs as well maybe some artwork on this wall you all have to let me know what you think in the comments should I do art on this wall should I do I don't I don't know like actually what <laughs> nothing else comes to mind I mean my go-to as far as decor is like either plants or mirrors or something like that but maybe like a longer piece of artwork maybe some family pictures I don't know you let me know what you think should go right there but this is feeling so cozy this makes me happy this feels like us and I'm really really excited about it and the TV looks really blue I don't know why the TV looks so blue. <laughs> it's white it's like a sepia print but it looks blue so yay okay you guys and i wanted to show you the second tree we got another fiddle leaf tree if you can hear the sound machine it's because brielle is sleeping or she's having quiet time but this is what it looks like i really really like this one this again is from world market i think it looks really really real and so i just have it down here in this little basket and i think it looks really really good i feel like this looks like a living room over here it looks so like put together but then it's like nope you come over here it's a playroom it's definitely a playroom but yeah you guys i think this 
this space just looks really, really fun and inviting and I can't wait to get sconces on either side of the TV. And I think that might be it in the playroom. So we'll do a little room tour once we're 100% done. Okay guys, so we are up in our bedroom and we got a new piece of furniture, hence why the camera is facing downward. Let me try to hide my feet because I haven't gotten a pedicure in a while. But okay, this piece of furniture has been back ordered for so long. It's finally here and I, 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 I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence, okay? So we're gonna look at it together and you tell me, what do you think? I like it. I, I really like it. You know what it is? I think, okay, so obviously it's this table. So we have this entryway table kind of like when you first like walk into the room it looks like this this is what it looks like with the rest of the bedroom furniture on this side and with our pictures framed up at the top so here's the thing I like the table I do I think it's really pretty I think it's different every time I look at it I have a different opinion on it I think because it's not finished yet like it's not styled so it's hard for me to really fall in love with it so basically my thought process is this I am getting two chairs to go in front of our bed and the chairs are more of like this color like an ivory cream so I'm gonna wait until those chairs arrive they're like big like poof kind of like rounder shaped chairs so I think I'm gonna like it better once those chairs are in it'll kind of break up the eye from just seeing cream to gray because I think that's what's throwing me off the fact that it's like really really light walls cream then gray then the gray flooring like something here like they're not talking to each other. So I think once I have my chairs over this way and maybe I put something like gray over here to kind of blend in, like maybe something darker, like a vase or something like that, I think I'll like it more. But right now I really do, I, I like it on its own, but I just have to style it to kind of fall in love with it. Right now I'm just like, oh, that's nice. It doesn't wow me, but I just have to like get it decorated. I don't know you guys, I mean, you know by now, like it takes me a while, I have to style it, I have to sit with it. So that's kind of where I am with this table. I have to sit with it and just kind of like marinate and like let it live in the space a little bit before I make my mind up and especially get the chairs before I'm like 100% because for a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, like when they dropped it off, first of all, I have a story about that, but when they dropped it off, I was like, ooh, this has got to go back. But I, I want to sit a little bit before I make impulsive decisions because sometimes I make impulsive decisions and then I end up switching it around. Like right there, it's really pretty like it really is pretty like this side when you look at it on this side like it is pretty it's a table it's a table it's a white table like it's fine I just kind of overthink things if you've been watching for a while you're like yeah nothing's new I know you we I, we get it but um, I just notice when I make impulsive decisions like no I don't like it this is what I want I'm buying this I'm returning this then I regret it so I'm just learning to like take my time and be like okay let it sit there like right there I think it looks it's beautiful. So I just have to think on it. I'm just gonna think on it, but that was just my initial reaction, long-winded reaction. But okay, so I have a story time about this. I feel like I haven't had a furniture story time in quite a long time, but anyway, okay, so they just dropped this off today. However, I was initially supposed to get this on Friday. I scheduled my delivery for Friday, today's Monday, and their truck broke down. So they had to get roadside assistance and all of that didn't like take place and happen until like 10 o'clock at night. They were supposed to be at our house around like four, I think. So anyway, they called me. I was like, oh, we can't go out there today. Um, maybe next Friday because they only do deliver deliveries in this area on Fridays. So if you notice, any of my CB2 orders have always been in Sunday's video. Probably haven't picked up on that, but anyway, I have have it like scheduled out. So I was like, okay, like I'll get it on Friday. It'll be in Sunday's video. It'll be perfect. Well, it didn't come. And so they were like, we'll do it next Friday. I'm like, okay, that's fine. Um, you know, no big deal. I'm not even going to like fuss over it. It's, it's a table. It's fine. So he called me back the next day and was like, Hey, we might be able to deliver it on Monday. Is that cool? Mind you, I'm in the car with the kids. They're like, okay, my card got full. I need to hurry up. So basically he calls me and he's like, we can schedule it for Monday, but I'm in the car with the kids when he's calling me. So like they're loud and RG's like screaming screaming so like I'm hearing him and he's saying Monday and he's saying a time and I'm like okay 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 but like half my brain is on the kids half my brain is on him and like I don't know he was just kind of like uh can you hear me like he wasn't like understanding that I had kids he wasn't trying to hurry up he was like lingering he was like what was that what was that I'm like it was my kid anyway <laughs> 
So he told me sometime on Monday, but it kind of slipped my mind. Monday comes, it's today. I get a knock at the door. I get a doorbell ring, like a hard knock and doorbell ring. And I'm like, okay, I look outside. Usually it's FedEx or UPS, of course. So I look outside, I don't see a truck. And I'm like, okay, like, who's that? I'm like, Rob's at work. I'm just here by myself with the kids. I'm not about to just go up to the door because it's all like windows and be like, hey, oh, I don't know you, bye. Or like, you know what I mean? Like, I just didn't want to be seen. So I'm like ducking, I'm like bobbing and weaving. RG's running up. I'm like grabbing RG. He starts crying because he wants to go to the door because he, he's like, it's a package, it's a package. I'm like, we don't know that, okay? So I'm like looking, I'm like, I don't know who this is, but it's a man in a mask and he doesn't look familiar and I don't see anything outside. There's no car or anything. I'm like, no, 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 no. I watch way too many like <laughs> shows, way too much Lifetime, way too many like documentaries of people getting kidnapped and their house broken into. I'm like, not gonna happen. So I take RG and Briella and we go in the kitchen like by the pantry and I'm full on like okay am I gonna have to hide in this pantry <laughs> like what is this so Rob we have cameras outside the house so Rob texts me he was like hey there's somebody outside because he got a notification to his phone thank god for technology so he's like hey there's somebody outside the house with like papers like well, who is that I'm like I don't know so as soon as I'm like texting him back I get a phone call from CB2 that's like hey we're outside I'm like oh my gosh it's the guys from CB2 I'm like oh I'm coming I'm coming sorry they're like okay no problem because during this whole span of time he's banging on the door he's ringing the doorbell like 18 times banging on the door like there's some type of emergency so I'm already like on 10 like okay what's about to go down so I, I'm like oh my gosh okay that's fine I'm like wait but I don't see a truck so I go outside he parks like kind of like basically like at our neighbor's um driveway so I didn't even see the truck I'm like okay like maybe they didn't know where the house was why are they parked so far up but it is what it is so I open the door I'm like oh hey sorry about that like he's like oh no problem and then here we are with our table so basically I thought we were getting robbed and CB2 was just here to drop off some furniture. So that's the story time on that. <laughs> kind of scary. Glad everything worked out. But I feel like, am I the only person like that? Like if the doorbell rings, I don't answer it ever. Like I don't, like when my doorbell rings, I'm never going to the door to see who it is. I'm looking out some other window. I'm looking over here, over there, like trying to see who's at my door. I'm never going down there and being like, <laughs> who's at my door? Like that's just not me. I'm just a little bit too skeptical for that. So that's pretty much what led to this whole situation. So anyway, that was long winded. Let's move on to the home updates. Okay, you guys, so it is the next day and we are about to go to one of my favorite stores. And if you know me, know me, then you already know what it is. Home Goods. We're about to go to Home Goods. We're gonna look and see what they have. I actually got the sweetest, honestly, you guys, the sweetest email. It brought me to tears. I was literally like crying, tearing up, reading this message. I read it like, oh my gosh, I don't even know, like 10 plus times. The kindest email from India. India, if you are watching, thank you so much. One of my sweet subscribers sent me over a gift card to Home Goods, which she did not have to do. She did not have to send me not a a dime let alone what she sent me I was shocked I was like oh my gosh wait what is going on here I just felt so like I don't know just like special and it just like meant a lot to me so anyway India girl I know you're watching thank you so much for everything that you said it was just so sweet I just mm, it just made me feel so good inside so anyway um, I want to look for something at home goods since she sent me that like e uh, email gift card I want to find something kind of like sentimental just because that email like meant so much to me I'm literally gonna print it off <laughs> but it just meant so much to me that I want to find something that maybe kind of represents like our relationship like the relationship I have with you guys as my subscribers I don't I don't even really call you guys my subscribers honestly anyone who knows me in real life I just say my girls like my girls online that's what I refer to you as like if I'm talking to my mom like I ask my girls online and my mom will even say like well did you ask your girls so sounds weird saying subscribers but you all basically I want to get something that kind of represents like maybe our relationship that we have or maybe something that's like sentimental with the gift card that uh well the, the e email gift card that she sent me so we're gonna go to home goods we're gonna see what we can find that we can be like okay that's like our thing in the house maybe or maybe something for um like the kids rooms because she brought up her little one as well so maybe something along those lines or i don't know we're gonna just look and see what we can get but yeah basically this shop with me portion is going to be dedicated to you all. I'm going to try to find something that could be like 
like our thing. And I don't know, I was kind of thinking too, like maybe like if you guys go to Home Goods and you see it, you could get it too. So like we all have like something matching in our house. I don't know, like I'm just kind of like, I don't know, like daydreaming. But I thought that could be something cool because I know like the majority of you do have like a Home Goods near you. So maybe we could all have like the same thing in our house. So yeah, basically that's a lot of talking. India, girl, like you just made my heart so full and I'm just so happy and thankful for you. So we're gonna go to Home Goods and do a little shopping. India? <laughs> Y'all gonna get me into trouble. You already know, Rob's gonna see all this and be like, what is going on? Oh my gosh. I found such good stuff. Okay, spoiler alert, we're doing a DIY. <laughs> Oh my god, this is crazy. Okay, you guys, so we are back from Home Goods and I wanted to show you just basically like a pan over of everything I purchased. Again, thank you to India. I really appreciate the gift card. Clearly, I I I used it up, girl. I went in. So, okay, we're gonna start over here. I just needed a shoe rack. We're keeping our shoes in our coat closet, our downstairs coat closet. So I just thought a rack would be easier. So that's just something that I needed. That's not like the fun stuff. The fun stuff is over here. I got all of these pillows. I got three of these large gray ones, two of these with the pattern, my lens cap. Let me just, let me just put that there. And then I got this long one with some tassels at the end. And I wanna put these pillows in our bedroom. So on our bed right now, we really don't have like a pretty pillow situation. So I thought these would look nice, kind of tie in with the gray in our bedroom furniture. And I think this is gonna look good and definitely better than what we have. So we'll see as far as sizing. I hope these fit. If not, I mean, I had the receipt, but I hope they look good. And then over here, okay, so. This is what I'm thinking. I have two frames right here because I really wanted, my makeup is like messed up from the mask, but I really wanted to find something that could be like sentimental that I could look at and be and think of like all my subscribers and something really cute and meaningful, but that was a lot of pressure for like one trip to Home Goods. I didn't find anything that just like hit home and felt right. So I was like, you know what? Maybe I could DIY something and we could kind of create our own art. So that was my idea for this. I have these two frames that I wanna put on the entryway table, the black entryway, I'll show you in a minute. So basically I wanna hang one and then I wanna have one leaning up against the wall. I've seen like restoration hardware, CB2, places like that, Pottery Barn, do this where they hang a piece of artwork, but then they also have artwork kind of leaning up against it to kind of do like a layered look <laughs> you can hear them up there playing in the playroom but anyway so I figured maybe I mean obviously I'm gonna take the art out of here I don't know why is this so awkward that they put like family I don't know why that's awkward to me like this is fine it's like okay this is like a living room situation but like we have full-on people like I don't know it's just like it makes me so awkward so anyway I figured we could take this out paint our own art um, I hear the babies so I gotta go but I thought this could be a really really fun DIY something cool we can get some inspo maybe you want to re-watch this video and do the DIY with me and you can have your own art and we can kind of have like the same type of situation going on I don't know so that was my idea for that then I also got this bowl I thought this was really really pretty it's a warmer wood because you all know I have the same like I forget it's like weathered oak I'm pretty sure that's the color of the wood but anyway it's basically like a gray it's very cool tone so I want to bring in more warm pieces warm wood into my space so I'm starting with this uh, vase <laughs> not vase catch-all I don't know what this is decorative bowl and then random but I got these pens these are the best pens I usually get these at Target but I saw them at home goods and I was like I need these I love the print it's very like tribal to me very cool and so yeah this is the home goods haul this is everything I got again India thank you so much girl for hooking me up I'm so excited to start decorating this space with all these beautiful items okay you guys so this is the bed this is what it's looking like with the pillows I love it I think it's beautiful again like I told you earlier I'm definitely the type of person I'm learning that I need to sit with things and see how I feel I think it looks really pretty I feel like it looks really good with this bed the pillows complement the space I think it's really really pretty I love all the tones okay I've been sitting with it for the past like five minutes I think I like it better without this blanket right here ignore that we're gonna we're gonna get to that later that blanket right there 
I think I like it better without that blanket. I feel like this is a cleaner look. Okay guys, so we are currently in the sunroom. I don't know if this is even gonna be a good angle or what, I'm trying. Okay, so basically we are in the sunroom and we are gonna be doing a little DIY. So you saw that I got those frames. I wanna do something that maybe all of us could do watching this, so I wanted to make it super easy if you have um, maybe a frame, but you don't have a picture in it yet. Maybe you could do this and hang it up and it kind of be like a little ode to all of us like watching these videos, like me putting out these videos for you all. It's kind of like a little piece of art that like we all have. Anyway, super easy. You just need white paper. I have cardstock paper, but I also have this long paper here. My kids were drawing on this because this is actually their paper. Um, so I have long paper because my frame, it's like a 18 by 24, no, this is nowhere near. This is like a, what, like 11 by 14, something like that. So I have this to go in the larger frame and then the small paper to go in the smaller one, obviously. I have black paint. This is literally my kids, uh, kids art paint that I got from Target. This paintbrush, again, super cheap. And then I didn't have like an actual painting like a container to pour the paint in. So I'm using no other than California Giant Blueberry Farms <laughs> container. So I'm just gonna pour the paint in this part because down here has holes. Well, this does too, but I'll just concentrate it in here. And we're just gonna paint. We're gonna see what we can come up with. We're gonna get creative. I looked on Restoration Hardware's website at their art. They have a lot of like abstract black and white art. Just I'm just gonna have like lines, like maybe some swirls. Super simple, let it dry, put it in the frame, and I think it's gonna turn out really, really good. So fingers crossed, this is like a cute project. I have um, a lot going on in this room. We're working on some things over there that'll be in a future video. So the sunroom has kind of turned into like our craft room, I guess for the time being, but here we go, fingers crossed which I mean, it's not that serious. Like if, it, if I don't like it, I have more paper, but I just kind of want to like go with it, wing it and see what happens. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so here's the first one. I don't know if I love this one, but we're gonna keep going. We're just gonna make a bunch and then see how it kind of turns out. Honey, bunny, why are you walking away? Baby, lost your tongue somewhere, don't know. Okay, and here's the second one, y'all. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going for it. <laughs> what to say? Stop and run around. Oh, you act like a kid. I am not your mama. Just admit what you did. I got enough to do. Then hang on. I love it. Okay, this turned out so much better than I thought it would. You guys. Okay, obviously like it's just, it's abstract. So like it, there's no real rhyme or reason, but this is gonna go up and down like this. I think that looks really, really cool. And then this one is gonna go next to it. Do we love that? I, I think it's kind of different. The more I look at it though, the more I'm like, does this look like the letter Q <laughs> and L? Like it kind of gives me like, maybe I do it this way. I kind of like it like that. I think I'm gonna add some more brush strokes to this one actually, I'm not 100%. Okay, you guys, I ended up doing it over. It kind of looks scary. Like, <laughs> I don't know why it kind of looks like evil and scary, but I swear I'm like happy doing this. I don't know why it turned out like this. But anyway, I think it's gonna look really, really good and artistic. So we're just gonna wait for this to dry. This one's actually, this one's actually dry. So we're gonna go ahead and do this one. Give this one a couple minutes. I kind of thinned it out. Like I kept going back and forth with my brush. So this one should be dry very, very soon, and then we can frame them. You guys, R.H. Who? This literally took me, I want to say 10 minutes. This was a 10 minute DIY, super easy. This is the type of DIY that I like. It does not take long at all. I could, and I thought about this, taking the frame, or I guess just covering this up and spray painting it black. I might do that because I think it would look really, really nice to have just like all black frames, but I'm gonna wait and see. I really, actually no, we're doing it. 
Okay, you guys, so remember when I said earlier in this video that I need to take my time and stop being so impulsive? This is exactly why. Literally, okay, I messed up the frame. I didn't mess it up. I just, I spray painted it on impulse and then I didn't like the way the art looked anymore and the spray paint that I used, like, I don't know if it didn't mesh well with this frame, but it's like sticky and it feels weird and basically it was a fail. So, it's the next day. I went back to home. I got another frame and this is what the artwork looks like. I absolutely love it. I think it looks so pretty. To me, this looks very high end. And I was trying to figure out why and I think it's because the frames are like inset. Like the frame doesn't like come up to the top. It's literally like an inch down, not the frame. Like the glass part is like inset. I think that's the correct term, I don't know. But I think that's what makes it look so nice. So I really, really like this. If you try this and do this DIY, please tag me and let me no. So, okay, here's my thought process. I was thinking of putting these over here instead of above our entryway table right here just because like they're they're big but not that big. So I think like two over here would look really nice and kind of fill up this space. As much as I love symmetry and I like things looking very like, you know, like symmetrical, I just feel like I don't want two trees. So what else am I going to put there? I mean, you all let me know. I'm not doing anything right now because one, Rob's at work. So I literally can't and I want to hear from you all but I think these two pieces of art would look nice here I very well could put them over here but I just feel like this lamp is huge it just needs like one big piece of art not that big well but like one piece of artwork and then eventually ottomans underneath there but yeah you let me know so far I love this art so much it turned out so cute <laughs> 